Hi everyone, I will talk about Ajax processing steps. What are the steps are required to build Ajax based applications? What is Ajax? Ajax is a group of interrelated technologies like JavaScript, DOM, XML, HTML and CSS. Ajax is not a language. Ajax is a framework. Ajax allows you to send and receive data asynchronously without reloading the web page, so it is fast. The entire the page has not been reloaded, whichever part you modified, that is only be updated. HTML and CSS is used to display the data. JavaScript is used to exchange data asynchronously with the server. XML is used to transfer the data. DOM is used to change or modify the part of the web page. Where is it used? There are the few of the applications are using the Ajax. Google, Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Google Map. YouTube, Crick Info, Crickbudge. Many applications are using Ajax, but I wrote only few of them which are using the Ajax. Ajax processing steps. First one is create XML HTTP request object. Second one is specify handler function. Third one is Ajax a ready state property. I will explain you the first step to create XML HTTP request object. Object of XML HTTP request is used for asynchronous communication between the client and server. The XML HTTP request object is a part of the Ajax. It performs the following operations sends data from the client in the background process, or receive the data from the server, update the web page without reloading it. Whichever part you modified, that only be updated on the web page. Need not reload the entire the web page. The syntax is used to create the XML HTTP request object, then variable the object name equal to new XML HTTP request. Second step is to specify handler function. The handler function is a critical component that defines how to manage the response from the server. Once we receive the response from the server, how do you manage that response by using specify handler function? Look at this syntax, object name dot on registered change equal to function, then we have to write the code to get the response from the server. Look at this second point, on registered change property defines a callback function to be executed when the registered changes. The function is called every time the ready state changes. This function will be called whenever the ready state property value changes. I will explain you the ready state property. The third step is Ajax ready state property. This property holds the status of the XML HTTP request. It ranges from 0 to Four. 0 means uninitialized, 1 means connection establishment, 2 means request sent, 3rd means processing, 4th means completed, response is ready. After creating the XML HTTP request object, but before invoking open method. At that time, the registered property value becomes 0. 
after calling the open method before invoking the send method the registered property value becomes 1 after calling send method it means request has been sent to the server the registered property value becomes 2 when server can accept the request and do the processing for the resource the registered property value becomes 3 when response is ready the registered property value becomes 4 i will explain you a few properties of xml http request status property is used to returns the http response status code if the status code is 200 the resource is available if the status code is 404 the resource is not found response xml if the server sends in the form of xml as a response this property will be used if the server send the response in the form of text we will use a response text property the methods of xml http request open method it is used for connection establishment the method type is post target which url you are requesting open method is consist of three arguments method type is get or post which you are requesting asynchronous communication is true or false if it is true we are using asynchronous communication if it is false we are using synchronous communication send method is used to send the request to the server i will explain the example look at this example i have created one h2 element i create one p element without any content once the resource is available then we can able to retrieve the content and insert inside the p tag i created one button the button name is get resource if you click on this button on click event has to be generated and it will get execute the do access method the control will comes to here i created the xml http request object at that time the registered property value becomes zero to access the paragraph element it will be stored in the variable d i am i am using get element by id method look at this one id equal demo obj dot on registered change equal to function this dot registered equal to 4 the registered property value is 0 the condition returns false again we are invoking the open method i am using the method type is get i am requesting this text file anurag.txt true means i am using the asynchronous communication at that time the registered property value becomes 1 again this method will get executed registered property value becomes one the condition returns false then send method has to be invoking the request has been sent to the server the registered property value becomes two again on registered change function will get executes the condition returns false when the server can accept the request and do the processing a registered property value becomes 3 the condition returns false when response is ready from the server the registered property value becomes 4 the condition is true again we need to check the second condition the status is called 200 200 means the resource is available 404 not means the resource is not found then the two condition returns true the resource is available or not we will check it once here the resource is available here anurav.txt file we can able to see the content then whatever the content is there some content has been included 
in the text file look at this content if it is available we can able to retrieve all this content and display it on the web page if the resource is not available if this dot status not equal to 200 we can able to display this message http error 404 the requested resource is not found i will run this application localhost colon 8080 click on manager app enter username and password click on sign in my application is ajax example click on it then click on get resource button the resource is available what are the content is there in the text file all the content has to be displayed over here i will check if the resource is not available whether that message has to be shown or not shown or not i will delete this file look at here i deleted do refresh see here http error 404 the requested resource is not found look at this example i deleted the file anurag.txt file then the server sent the response the requested resource is not found then i want to include this resource save it i will run the application once again see here the content has been displayed if any doubt regarding this application you may contact through the comment box thank you thank you all for watching my videos if you like this video please subscribe my channel